Good morning. I've just concluded an extraordinary meeting of senior UN leaders to discuss the unprecedented developments in Israel and the occupied Palestinian territory. Let me begin by repeating my utter condemnation of the abhorrent attacks by Hamas and others against Israeli towns and villages in the Gaza periphery, which have left over 800 Israelis dead and more than 2,500 injured. Sadly, these numbers are expected to rise as the attacks are ongoing and many remain unaccounted for. In addition, over 100, possibly more, Israelis, civilians and military have been reported captured by armed groups, including women, children and the elderly. Some are being held hostage inside Israel and many others have been taken inside the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad have launched thousands of indiscriminate rockets that have reached central Israel, including Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. I recognize the legitimate grievances of the Palestinian people, but nothing can justify these acts of terror and the killing, maiming and abduction of civilians. I reiterate my call to immediately cease these attacks and release all hostages. In the face of these unprecedented attacks, Israeli airstrikes have pounded Gaza. I'm deeply alarmed by reports of over 500 Palestinians, including women and children, killed in Gaza and over 3,000 injured. Unfortunately, these numbers are rising by the minute as Israeli operations continue. While I recognize Israel's legitimate security concerns, I also remind Israel that military operations must be conducted in strict accordance with international humanitarian law. Civilians must be respected and protected at all times. Civilian infrastructure must never be a target 